Good morning, Scott. How did your night treat you here at the Blue Swallow Motel? This place is the coolest place I've ever stayed in. It is, you can't think it's gonna be as cool as it is and comfortable as it is. I really am thrilled to have been here. That's awesome because uh, you know you never know when you book stuff online what it will be. This place has a stellar reputation yeah. and we were very, very lucky. I mean, they were booked out for like four weeks except for one night that we happened to weasel our way in here and but wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm so welcoming the owners. They, they share the history of the place. They're just as excited to be here as we are. And that's, that's it, it's infectious. It's really wonderful. No, it's, it's clean, it smells good, it looks good. It's perfect. I hate to say it, but we have to uh, head on down the road, Route 66 today, and leave this place behind. So let's do it. Days of Tour and the Lion and Dearly Departed. Begin right now. Even though we didn't stay here, this is an awesome second choice. This is where we were gonna stay if we couldn't stay at the Blue Swallow Motel Safari. They have a couple of things here that caught my eye. I love the old signage. It's got a cool vibe to it. And over here on the wall, look at all these old school ads. Fat kids, skinny kids, kids who climb on rocks, tough kids, sissy kids, even kids with chicken pox. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Pa likes the cream, Ma likes the jar, both like the price, so there you are, Burma Shave. And then over here, this is a funny one, after the uh, Cracker Jack, you got more Dr. Smoke camels than any other cigarette. I'd walk a mile for a camel. And of course, you know, they always win me over when they got a anything Elvis, and they got this great little mural of Elvis here, traveling through Tucumcari, right there on his suitcase, and then check out the lobby of this place. They got a camel, I love it. I was talking to him inside, and I was saying, what a great place this is, and he said, well, you know, if you stayed across the street, it's a 20 year difference in experience, so that was 39, this one's 59, so. If you're looking for a 50s vibe, get it here. There's a famous Mexican joint here in town. Sita, they always call it the big hat. This place is actually a smoke oh shop. God. So on the outside of this smoke shop, they have a pretty cool mural with a service station attendant. So they've turned this old service station into a modern day smoke shop. Then here's another old service station that someone has converted into a private business of some sort. They have some really great murals promoting Route 66 on the side and the old gas station. Magnolia Oil. Too bad some of these businesses didn't make it. Look at this Mexican restaurant over here. Their sign is amazing. It's now out of business. But look at this ranch house sign. And there's one laying here in the ground as well. Yeah, this is nuts. Looks like it's full of stuff. Wow. Uh, it's not a Mexican restaurant. It hasn't been a Mexican restaurant in a while by the looks of this. Oh, this is cool. Look at this old Esso station. Put a tiger in your tank. It's kind of cool to see this stuff because this is like way before my, my lifetime. Dad's root beer. This is very cool. Look at a little happy motoring guy. Elephant kerosene. Only thing missing are the pumps. Parking lots are a little overgrown here in Tucumcari. They have a really great Route 66 museum I was reading about online, but it's not open yet. So we're not gonna see it today, but this is a must see. Coming through here is the Route 66 sculpture in Tucumcari. That thing is awesome, look at that. Huge too. 
freaking huge. All right, it's time to head out of Tucumcari or Tucumcari and head on down Route 66. Holy cow, a freaking radio shack. Huh, never thought I would see one of those again. I just can't help myself with all these old gas stations. I know it's probably getting a little bit obnoxious at this point, but these are all places I never got to see in my life. And so to see that there's a little bit of an homage to them, I love it. You even got the, uh, the guy waving us in. This could be somebody's house for all I know now. On the outskirts of town here, you got a trading post. Which looks like Mater hanging out front. Tow Mater. Here's an old shell sign. Discover Las Vegas, New Mexico, the original Las Vegas. Heading into a place called Cuervo now. And eventually the nuttiest place in New Mexico, Pistachio Land, home of the world's largest pistachio. Cuervo looks like kind of another Glen Rio. Just a ton of abandoned buildings and Destroyed property. I was asking Scott, I'm like, where's the church? And then we found it. I'll show it to you up here. It's sad. There's like nothing left of this town. I mean nothing. This one I was just kind of curious about. It looked like, I, we couldn't tell if it was like a firehouse or a school. Looks like it says District 6 or something up there. Not really sure. Figured we'd take a look because the door's completely open. Movies. Looks like it was a music, books, I don't know, movies, some sort of store. This is something else. That has been blocked in after it was built, that doorway. Yeah, that's definitely not an original. And what does that say? No, district number six. This is, man, it sounds like a school maybe. Yeah. It looked like a schoolhouse to me at first. Yeah. We've made it over to Santa Rosa, New Mexico to the Route 66 Auto Museum we're gonna check out. There are countless, countless Route 66 museums along the trail. Did I say countless? <laughs> All right, Elvis. Wow, look at this place. This is great. <laughs> kind of digging this place. Interesting. All right. Did someone say auto museum? Beautiful. Grand Prix. 67 Plymouth Belvedere. Now that's the kind of car you want to see in a Route 66 museum. Those wood panels. That is old school. Very old school. That's what you used to travel along Route 66 in the day. Not so much those, but those are cool to see too. Who doesn't love a good hot rod? Some cool cars here. 
1929 Mercedes Gazelle kit car. 57 Buick four door. Some beautiful cars here. 1931 Auburn. Oh yeah. 63 Corvette. So it kind of looks like the Munsters car in a way, doesn't it? It's titled Lightning and Leadfoot. That front of the car totally reminds me of the Munsters car though. Cool car. Twenty seven T bucket. Fifty seven Chevy. Oh, 1970 SS Chevelle. James Dean in the uh, phone booth. Club Cafe. Oh, that's beautiful. There by the old Texco. The King, Richard Petty. Wow. Cadillac. Oh, neat. 1979 Datsun. I did not expect to see this in here. It's kind of cool. Something different. Max Garage. Cool museum. You got about 30 cars, I think it said out front. Pretty cool. Very unique color for this one. It's like seafoam green. Even more unique color. <laughs> I don't think that was factory. Which one are you buying, Scott? I don't know. There's somebody to choose from. Cool. We just ran into a guy and his girlfriend in here and he said, I'm from Australia and we don't have any of these cars here. I'm just mind blown. I love the old 7-Up machine. Isn't that great? Oh, Scott with his eagle eyes saw this tire over here. Notice the sign says, owned by Alan. So you're in early 80s, hit a wall in Phoenix, Arizona during practice. The Wicker Motorcycle. Wow. Kind of crazy they have this in here. Scott and I were just talking about this moments before we walked in about what photos really existed from the James Dean crash that we have never ever seen, whether they will ever be seen. Ralph, this must be for Ralph. Jimmy must be gone already. And Ralph, this must be to pick up Ralph out of the car. This is that one that they doctor. They say you can see Jimmy's face in it because somebody superimposed their face in it. Uh, on one of these. And here they have a guitar, Route 66 guitar signed by Loretta Lynn. This is a fun little stop, but uh, don't forget to look around the parking lot because you might see something you've never seen before, like this. What is this? Bulldozer, taxi, Cadillac, police car. What the heck really is going on here? We got a backhoe. We got a seat to operate the backhoe. No, not that kind. I'm talking about the backhoe right here. So this is what you're buying. This is totally you. The new de dearly departed touring mobile. Gonna try and show you a popular place up here. We're not gonna partake in it, but we're gonna show you in case you want to when you come through. The blue hole is very popular here. Kind of a Fun Playland swim area. There's a little bit more of it. Well, my friends, we are going to call it a day. We will see you tomorrow from somewhere else. Have a great night. Hope you enjoyed everything you saw today. Goodbye.